the Milwaukee Bucks. 2-2 two and two on the season. We got a big game against the Chicago Bulls later today. But we've got a few things that we've got to handle. So you guys told me in the comments section that I should shop around Jared Bayless. Considering we've got a bunch of point guards on this, on this team. Including Zach Levine and Brandon Knight. So I decided to throw in Carlos Delfino with this trade. See what I can get. Now if any of these trades look intriguing to you guys. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below, which out of these 26 trades should I accept? Now, this trade will be up to the viewers, up to you guys at home, what trade should I accept? Now, Raven Felton, Drake, Jay Crowder trade looked very intriguing, as well as Austin Rivers and John Salmon's trade. So let me know in the comment sections down below. But right here, a lot of you guys are requesting for me to get Gary Harris. Now, I've tried to use it to some players and see what I can offer to the Nuggets in return for Gary Harris and I tried to trade Carlos Delfino but they didn't want to have any part in that so let me know as well who should I trade for Gary Harris or should I just trade Jared Bayless and Carlos Delfino and possibly a draft pick in return for Gary Harris so tonight is retro night here in Milwaukee and the Milwaukee Bucks will be wearing their retro jerseys in this one taking a look at the starting lineup Brandon Knight, OJ Mayo, Jabari Parker, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Jared Sullinger. Larry Sanders is still out with a sprained ankle. So, without further ado, let's get right into the introductions. So as you guys saw, we are wearing the retro Milwaukee Bucks jerseys. Pretty nice. They look pretty cool in this game. And right out of the gates, come on, Jabari. Knocking down the three, tying this game up at four. So right here, Chicago Bulls have the lead. Two-point game. OJ Mayo's going to throw it away. Bulls almost turn over the ball right there, but no big deal. We still are only trailing by two, and Gasol's going to get rejected at the rim by Sullinger right there. Giving the ball back to the Milwaukee Bucks. So something I wanted to talk about in this video and just about my YouTube channel in general is that my likes on the on the series have been way down and kind of discouraging making these videos because this is one of my favorite things to do on YouTube or is my GM series and if you guys didn't know I've always been playing my GM or association or even back to NBA live I used to play franchise mode all day so I really want you guys I mean tell me what I can improve on tell me what I can improve on to uh, get more likes and what what do you guys want to see with this series so if you guys enjoy this series or want to see more of it make sure you guys hit that like button and I will be sure to bring tons and tons of these episodes to you I just want to sit back and just make videos all day and just have you guys happy but hard to do that when you're not getting that many likes and it feels like you guys aren't really supporting me that well but I hate complaining, so let's get right back into this video. Brandon Knight finds a bar, corner three buckets, making it rain. Retro Knight, Milwaukee. So 28 27 now. Chicago, Jimmy Butler getting blocked. Knight's gonna dive on the floor, saving it. McDermott gets it back, and D Rose misses the layup right there. Let's go. Milwaukee defense looking phenomenal. Now Jabari finds Mayo. Mayo going to the basket, is gonna get fouled before these first half ends. So 
start of the third quarter here. Milwaukee Bucks trailing by two in this one. Now Jimmy Butler with three seconds left on the shot clock. Puts up the contested shot, getting it to go. Jimmy Butler is an absolute beast in this game. And a beast in real life. As you see Jabari Parker going in with the underhand layup right there. So, 36-30 now. Two minutes left. Brandon Knight, pull up Jay, buckets in the paint right there. Four point game. Now D Rose finds Jimmy Butler, three ball in the corner. 39 32. We trail by seven in this one. But Zach walking. Bruh, Zach Levine is insane in this game. As you see him find Giannis Antetokounmpo missing the three right there. But good luck from Giannis, just couldn't convert on the three-point right there. Now Doug McDermott getting fouled in the paint right there by Zach Levine. Good stop by Zach Levine right there. Now Levine going in again for the dunk, nearly missed the dunk right there. But it's all good because we've got Jabari Parker dunking the ball. So, here we are, man, heading into the fourth quarter. And it's not looking good, trailing by nine points in this one. Oh no, Zach Levine, not again! Man, oh man, Zach Levine is insane. But anyways, Giannis making up for the missed three, getting a three of his own, making it right here in Milwaukee. So, six-point game, fourth quarter. Let's get right into this, man. We got to come out victorious in this one because this is a big game. This kind of sets the tone for the rest of the season for the Milwaukee Bucks, considering the Chicago Bulls are one of the biggest Eastern Conference powerhouses in the league. So, back to what I was saying earlier in this video, I mean, I put my heart and soul into these videos. I'd spend hours editing them and just hours perfecting them. And so it would really mean a lot to me if you guys enjoy these videos and let me know what I can improve on. And make sure you guys hit that like button. So, 5348, now five point game. Gasol misses a shot right there, surprisingly. But Jimmy Butler's going to get blocked once again. Milwaukee defense looking great. Jabari leading the fast break. Finds OJ Mayo, three ball, gets it to go right there. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Giannis, buckets, nope, misses the three right there. Should have converted right there, man. Giannis is a little too inconsistent for my likings, but Jimmy Butler has the ball, just beasting through the paint, beasting and feasting down there, getting the layup. Now, eight point game. This is where Chicago starts to pull away. We try to make a comeback. OJ Mayo nearly missing the dunk right there. Gets it to go. Now D-Rose, Jimmy Butler, that's game. 64-55, Jimmy Butler knocked down the three. He has 18 points in the second half alone, man. And too little, too late for this Milwaukee Bucks squad. They played phenomenal in this game. Jabari misses the three right there, but that's going to wrap it up for this game. Kirk Heinrich's going to seal the deal at the free throw line. 12-point game, man. They just killed us in these last few seconds. But it's not over till it's over Zach Levine getting the layup right there. But this game, it's over, man. 67-57. Good game, Chicago. Beating us on our first retro night of the season. But it's all good. I'm very proud of how the Milwaukee Bucks played tonight. I mean, this rebuilding effort has gone pretty well. We've got a lot of good pieces. And I feel like Zach Levine is one of those missing pieces. Now, the puzzle is still not completed. And we still got... A few more things we've got to do in the upcoming episodes and in this episode as well. So, taking a look at the box scores. Mayo at 13, Parker at 13, Zach Levine had 8. As for Chicago, Jimmy Butler had 18, Deros had 16, and Gasol had a solid 7 points. So, after this game, I decided to look at the prospect scouting. This is a scouting report that we have in this, uh, in this game mode and for the Milwaukee Bucks. So I hate to think about it, but if we do end up not making the playoffs, I mean, it's always good to have a backup plan. So I'm looking at who we could potentially draft in the upcoming draft. Now, the big board's brought to you by Draft Express. It's showing us the, the mock draft, pretty much all 60 picks and where they think each player is going to go. So taking a look at the mock draft right here, says we are, we are going to have the 11th pick in the draft as well as the 14th pick in the draft. So right here, look, they're showing us a small forward out of Sweden. Looking pretty cool. I mean, we really don't need a small forward, but we'll see when draft day comes. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed. Let's smash 75 likes 
if you guys want to see another video very, very soon.